What's up everyone, it's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this video. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys gameplay of pretty much all of the normal Wrath of the Machine raid weapons. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to show you guys what they're capable of and you know how they play. I just thought you guys might be interested in this. I know the raid just released yesterday, but I pretty much gathered up all of the Wrath of the Machine raid weapons for you guys. So you guys can, you know, get to know them before you get them. Or hey, maybe you guys already have these. I mean, I don't know. Hope you guys end up enjoying the video though. And if you do, consider leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated right now. Especially in the state of how my channel is at the moment. It's been going downhill a lot. So the support is greatly appreciated. Anyways, for this first one I got for you guys is the Quantaplasm. Which is the shotgun out of the raid. As you can see here is what it looks like. Has a black and red texture. And it's part of hockey as you can see in the bottom left of the shotgun. And the little symbols on it. Anyways, as for the perks go. It has Whirlwind's Curse which this weapon does bonus damage against Fallen and also has bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. <laughs> now that's pretty useful for a shotgun. It also has Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Fuel Choke, and it even also has Battle Runner. Kills with this weapon, grants a brief boost to the sprint's top speed. So not only is your agility increased by the Whirlwind's Curse, it is also topped off with this Battle Runner perk which grants a brief boost to the sprint's top speed after a kill. But that's not all, don't worry, it gets even better. There's sarcasm in that better, of course. Golly, this shotgun is cheap. Oh, I can already see it now. So many people running around with this shotgun. I can already see it now in the PvP world. It, it's going to be a disaster. Anyways, it also has hand loaded, speed reload, and small bore for the tree perks. So yeah, you just choose which one you would like best out of them. And as you can see, the magazine size is 4 with that. And it also has running interference, which this is actually a pretty interesting perk. Grants increased armor while the battle runner perk is active. And the reason why this is interesting is because all perks work together. This is just an amazing shotgun, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not a shotgun fan. And there's a car just storming by like he's like a hot rod racer outside or something. He is just going at it. So I apologize about that if you just heard that background sound. Oh man, I... I hate when people do that, I'm going to be honest. So anyways, as I was saying, uh, they all work together. Running Interference, Battle Runner, and Whirlwind's Curse. And not to mention the tree perks aren't bad either. So yeah, for all you shotgun fans out there, you should love this shotgun. Like I said, I'm not a shotgun fan myself. I enjoy playing with snipers. But when I saw this shotgun, I was like, dang. Now this is the shotgun I actually want. But for the stats, I mean, the rate of fire looks pretty slow. It has good impact, obviously. It's a shotgun. Ranges, I don't know. It's decent. That's pretty decent for a shotgun, I guess. Stability is pretty good, and the reload is pretty slow. But small bore is also draining that reload as well. So we got to keep that in mind. But anyways, up next I got for you guys the Wrath of the Machine Scout Rifle, and it is called, as you can see here, Chaos Dogma. And this thing is a beast gameplay-wise. Just one thing I don't like about this weapon, and actually all the other Wrath of the Machine weapons, is they are just reskins, it seems like, from the gunsmith vendor. I mean, I don't really like that, I'm going to be honest. They're not really creative. And I feel like the developers have more of an imaginative side to be able to, you know, create something more spontaneous than just, a, like, a reskin of the gunsmith vendor weapons. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't think these look really all that special. But gameplay-wise, they're pretty solid. Anyways, let's get into the perks. As always, for the new Wrath of the Machine raid, this is a set-in-stone perk right here, Whirlwind's Curse. It comes with all of the raid weapons, which I just went over with the shotgun before. This weapon does bonus damage against Fallen, and also gives bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. This weapon also comes with Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Fuel Choke, and as you can see, it also comes with Triple Tap, and it comes with Extended Mag, which extends your magazine to 16, as you can see here. It also has Speed Reload, Small Bore, and triple double which triple double in case you guys don't know what that is when triple tap perk is triggered an extra bullet is transferred from your reserves to the magazine which this can be pretty useful with triple tap rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine as you can see but yeah that's it for the perks the rate of fire with this is um it's all right it is a scout rifle after all i mean i know there is some faster shooting scout rifles in this one but like i said it's not a bad weapon whatsoever, so yeah, keep that in mind. Like, this scout rifle is pretty beastly. I mean, just look at the impact on it. Whew. Now that's sharp. It also has nice range. The stability, uh, it's pretty shaky. And the reload is pretty good, especially if you're using, like, speed reload as well. You'll be reloading like a machine. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up that weapon. Let's get on to the next one. 
Okay, so for this next one, I got you guys the Wrath of the Machine fusion rifle. As you can see, it is called Ether Nova. And I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fusion rifle fan whatsoever. Like, I hardly, actually, I take that back now, hardly. I don't ever play with a fusion rifle. But this fusion rifle is a beast. I don't know what it is about it. I guess we'll get into the perks to find out, won't we? Um, as you can see, though, the Whirlwind's Curse obviously comes with this fusion rifle. It also has Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Fuel Choke. It comes with a perk called Army of One. Quick unassisted kills with this weapon, reduced grenade and melee cooldown. For the tree perks, it has small bore, speed reload, and braced frame. And lastly, two for one. Doubles the effectiveness of the Army of One perk. Obviously, they go together, and this just makes the regeneration cooldown so much better. And not to mention overall, like gameplay-wise with the fusion rifle, without including the perks, this weapon is still freaking solid. Obviously, the perks just kind of help out with, you know, melee and grenade regeneration. But, um, as you can see, it carries 5 in the magazine. The charge rate is... Uh, it's eh, it's iffy. The impact is good. The range is good. The stability is pretty solid. It's about the same as the charge rate. And it has a nice reload speed. Although, I do have speed reload on for one of the tree perks. But small bore would also be a good substitute to use. I mean, I don't know. It all depends on your opinion and play style. Anyways, yeah. That's about it for the fusion rifle. Let's get on to this next one. This next one I got for you guys is this big old whale right here called Sound and Fury. Now this one was manufactured by Suros, and as you can see for the perks on this bad boy, obviously it comes with Whirlwind's Curse, it also comes with Linear Compensator, Hard Launch, and Warhead Verniers. More velocity and blast radius with increased recoil. It also has spray and play, increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty, which that is definitely useful for a rocket launcher because typically rocket launchers reload pretty slow. But as you can see up in the stats, this one does not. I mean, the reload looks pretty freaking nice for it being a rocket launcher. Anyways, it also has Javelin, increases warhead velocity, which is awesome to have on the rocket launcher once again, speed reload, and quick draw. And lastly, it has the perk called Wait For It. Reloading this weapon when the mag is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. So obviously that is definitely going to be beneficial. But yeah, overall, this is definitely not a bad rocket launcher to substitute with another legendary rocket launcher that you might be using. If you prefer like the Galahorn or the Truth, obviously this won't be a good replacement for it. Alrighty, so up next I got you guys the auto rifle from the raid called Genesis Chain. As you guys can see, here is what it looks like. And as for the perks on this weapon, obviously it comes with Whirlwind's Curse. I don't even know why I keep repeating that. It also comes with like typical the Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Field Choke. It also comes with something called focus fire when zoomed this weapon fires slower but causes additional damage honestly i like this perk some of you guys might like spray and pray kind of game style but i enjoy this style rather than spray and pray anyways for a tree perks it has speed reload high caliber rounds and hammer forged and it also has something that combines with the other perk which this is something that i like about the raid weapons once again the perks seem to play nice with one another anyways as you can see it's called focus firefly while focus fire is active precision kills cause the targets to explode so this can be a chain reaction of tons of fireflies that activates. Imagine just a group of thrall lined up running right at you. This would work perfectly for that situation. And I'm sure you guys can think of some others as well. But overall, this auto rifle was pretty solid. As you guys can see, the rate of fire is pretty high. The impact is, it's decent for it being an auto rifle. The range is also pretty good. The stability is also pretty good. And the reload is good as well. And not to mention the magazine size looks pretty solid. So yeah, overall the stats are pretty solid with this auto rifle. But yeah, I guess that's about it for this weapon. Before I go on to the other weapons, I just wanted to let you guys know, this is the last gameplay footage I have of the raid weapons. Sorry I couldn't get all of them, trust me, I really wanted to, I really wanted to gather all gameplay footage of all the raid weapons so you guys can see, you know, how they play out. Fortunately though, I did get this many and hopefully you guys did end up enjoying the gameplay footage. But don't think this is wrapping up the video whatsoever. I'm still going to cover the other weapons, it's just not going to be with gameplay footage like I was wanting. So, once again, hope you still find this enjoyable. Okay, so at next I got you guys the raid hand cannon called Fever and Remedy. And as for the perks on this one, it comes with Whirlwind's Curse, Smart Drift Control, Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, Reactive Reload, which reloading this weapon after a kill grants bonus damage for a short time, which the other perk works really nice with this perk, but I'll get to that here in a second. For the tree perks, it has Hammer Forged, Speed Reload, and Reinforced Barrel. Personally, I'd probably use Hammer Forged out of these three perks, but that's just my opinion. It also has Quick Reaction, which this was the perk I was just talking about. Gain increase in agility while the Reactive Reload perk is active. So yeah, they will definitely work great together. And also, it has 11 in the magazine. 
As for the stats, it has a low rate of fire, impact is really good, range is okay, this ability is pretty decent as well, the reload is also pretty decent. But yeah, that impact though with this hand cannon will definitely help out. Sadly, I didn't get any of the gameplay with this. I'm even showing you guys the perks for this weapon. It's from the Destiny database. I don't know exactly if these uh, perks are accurate or not. If they aren't, well then leave them in the comments saying they aren't. Anyways, for this next one, which I believe one of these are messed up because it seems that the sidearm zeal vector has the same perks as the hand can. As you guys can see, they're all the same perks here. Smart drift control, accurized ballistics, fuel choke, reactive reload, hand loaded. I mean, that isn't really the same hand loaded and, and that, but the quick reaction and the reactive reload, you know, are the same. So I definitely think there was some kind of mess up here with the Destiny database. I mean, of course, I don't know this to be factual because I haven't actually got the weapon myself or seen anyone else with it for that matter. But yeah, as you can see though, you can get a sidearm called Zeal Vector out of the new Wrath of the Machine raid. And as for the stats, I mean, these might be accurate. I don't know for a fact though, but they seem pretty accurate. And who knows, maybe they do have just the same perks as the hand can. I haven't got my hands on these, so I can't really, you know, be factual about this information. Once again, I'm just getting it from the Destiny database. I just repeated myself there quite a bit of time, so hopefully, um, you know, I got my point across. Anyways, as for the stats, the rate of fire is 98, which seems right for a sidearm. Impact is low, which also seems right for a sidearm. The range is pretty low, which also seems right. Okay, I'll shut up. The stability is nice, and the reload is nice as well. So those stats actually look accurate. The only thing that's throwing me off are the perks. Okay, so up next, I got you guys the Amalan sniper rifle that you can get out of the Wrath of the Machine raid. As you guys can see, it's called the X Machina. And I don't know if you guys have played with the gunsmith vendor Amalan sniper. It's basically the same thing. In case you guys are wanting to try to get some kind of picture in your mind, yeah, basically just think of the gunsmith vendor uh, sniper Amalan. Anyways, um, as for the perks, it has the Whirlwind's Curse, Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, Fuel Choke, Spray and Play, which this increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty, and the last perk on the sniper rifle works really well with this perk. I'm really digging these perks on these weapons. It seems like they really sat down and thought about how they were going to set up each weapon, which I like. It also has hand loaded, quick draw, and injection mold, which hand loaded this weapon is effective at an extended range. Quick draw, obviously, this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast, and also injection mold increases stability, faster handling, and it also reduces the range. And lastly, it has a perk on it called Wait For It. Reloading this weapon when the mag is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. So yeah, Spray and Play and Wait For It kind of work together, which is nice to see. Because not only are you about to receive a normal magazine, you also are able to reload your sniper rifle quicker. So it's a win-win, especially with a sniper. Reloading fast is definitely helpful. Okay, so anyways, up next I got you guys the heavy machine gun called If Materia. And this actually has some awesome perks if this is actually the legitimate perks on this. Because once again, I don't actually have footage. I'm, you know, going off the Destiny database website. Anyways, for the perks, it has Whirlwind's Curse, Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Fuel Choke. It also has Triple Tap. Rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. Now that just sounds overpowered for a heavy machine gun. Gosh, that sounds extremely beneficial. Which, just wait, we went over this perk just a minute ago. It works very well with the triple tap, but we'll get to that. It also has extended mag, which is also beneficial for a heavy machine gun. As you guys can see, it can carry 60 to 88 in the magazine. Anyways, it also has speed reload. Brace frame, and lastly, triple double, which this is the perk that works well with triple tap. As you can see here, when triple tap perk is triggered, an extra bolt is transferred from your reserves to the magazine. So yeah, you'll be able to keep your ammo up a lot with this. Anyways, as for the stats, it has a hunter in rate of fire, of course, it is a heavy machine gun. Impact is, eh, it's alright. The range is low. The stability can get pretty high for it being a machine gun. Of course, you probably want to use the brace frame to increase it that high. As you can see, it's a light gray bar there, so that means it can get that high. And also, the reload seems average. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up that weapon. Okay, so lastly, I got up on this list of all the Wrath of the Machine raid weapons is the Steel Medulla. As you guys can see, here it is. It carries 33 in the magazine. As for the perks, though, it has Whirlwind's Curse, CQB Ballistics, Smart Drift Control, Smooth Ballistics. Now, this is what makes this Pulse Rifle so good. I have a feeling this thing is going to be a beast. I have yet to get my hands on this, and I have yet to actually, now that I think about it, see anyone with this. If I would have saw someone with this, I would have asked, hey, you know, could you help me with some? Some gameplay footage so I can show it off to people but you know unfortunately I didn't find anyone with this but as you can see it has full auto this weapon can be fired in full auto mode it also has high caliber rounds speed reload hand laid stock 
and Sign of Four. Landing three bursts on a target causes the fourth burst to do extra damage. Now this is just going to be incredible in the PvP world. This pulse rifle, hands down, I can already tell, is going to be amazing. Anyways, as for his stats, as you can see over here, rate of fire is uh, above average a little bit. Impact is low. <laughs> yeah, that impact though, it's a little iffy. Anyways, the range is, it's alright. The stability is <laughs> pretty daggone good. And the reload is okay as well. But the perks on this look amazing, and I have a feeling, once again, this is going to be a PvP-style weapon. And it possibly could be used for PvE, but I definitely see myself using this in the PvP world a lot. Uh, but hey, who knows? I haven't actually got my hands on this to try it out. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. This took me quite a while to put together. So if you did end up enjoying it, consider leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated, but only if you end up enjoying it. Don't leave a like just because I'm telling you guys to leave a like. I like to see your guys' feedback on my content, whether it's good or not good. I can tell by the likes on what you guys think about the content I'm producing to y'all. Anyways, yeah, like I just said, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching and listening, everybody. And remember to stay safe out there, everyone, and try not to sleep in pee. It can get pretty daggone nasty. Peace out.